Hey guys, Dirt and Rest here. Um, I've got these uh, locking pliers here. These are BMC Manufacturing, made in USA, number seven. They've been painted. Um, basically, you just go like that, they lock in place. Only thing I don't like about them is they're kind of hard to unlock and there's no real uh, easy way to unlock them unless you push down like this but it's pretty hard to release them so so pushing down like that doesn't work for me anyways so uh, yeah but anyways I'm going to try to get the paint off this we got a plastic piece here and I'm gonna have to avoid that with the paint stripper um, and try to use something else. I think I can use isopropyl alcohol on this and get it off safely. We shall see. I've never done that before, so it will be an experiment. So um, other than that, I think I'm ready to get going. See you in a bit. All right, you guys, I'm gonna put this uh, citrus stripper on here. Um, and I'm going to try to avoid the plastic area. I uh, put some tape around it to hopefully protect it a little bit. And then I'll just put less in that area. All right, we'll wait until tomorrow. All right, guys, it looks like guys. we may have melted some plastic here. Uh, I'm not sure, but let's start cleaning this paint off a little bit. This paint's definitely coming off the metal. I tried to cover up the plastic areas, but I see some I see some bleed through here, so we'll see. But that paint's coming off pretty easy off the top. It's pretty much gone. Let's check the other side. Okay, so I rinsed it off and uh, looks like this plastic is uh, intact still, but it's kind of purple. I believe the original color should be like a, a more brighter red, but I don't mind that color. Still got some paint on here to get off and there's still rust on it. but. It's looking better, you know, we can see the measurement markings here, which is cool. And having that white paint off of it just makes a huge difference already. So I think I'll just go ahead and throw this in uh, some vinegar next overnight. Get that rust off. All right, it's been overnight in the vinegar. So let's see if we can get some of the rust off here. Looks 
Looks like it's coming off pretty good. So we gotta work on getting this paint off the plastic there. Which I think I'm gonna probably soak this in some um, uh, isopropyl alcohol overnight. And they say that it'll help uh, get paint off plastic, so we'll try that probably. Because I don't think we have much rust left here now. Looking pretty good. All right, on to the next step. I could probably just scrape this paint off, but I'm kind of curious how the alcohol will work, if it's gonna make it much easier to take off the plastic. So I wanna find out if it works anyways. And plus, I won't have any scratch marks. So let's just go ahead and give it a try. I've got 70% rubbing alcohol here. tomorrow. Okay, the alcohol seemed to uh, help with the paint getting rid of the paint that came off, uh, the white paint came off pretty easily. And um, also I think it got rid of some rust that was inside of it too. Um, it deposited some rust back on the outside, but it was pretty easy to get off for the most part. And I'm just gonna spray it with some mineral oil. Get the insides a little bit. And then go from there, I'll probably, uh, probably do some dremeling after this. Okay guys, I think I'm done with this. It's about as far as I want to go. Uh, you can see all the information here. And to number seven, BMC MFG Corp. You can start to see, well, you can see easily now the uh, measurement numbers here for the adjustment. And this is actually a pretty good looking wrench once it's all uncovered without that white paint. It's, it's a good looking tool. I was surprised how far this mouth opens up. Got the purple going on here. I think this is supposed to be red but 
all the ones I've seen online have a red this turned purple so but I like it <laughs> um, but yeah that's it guys pretty happy with it it's a keeper Thanks for watching.